Welcome to Community Impact. I'm Reena Agustin, the founder of Red Carpet Functions. The main reason why we do these interviews is to bring to you the amazing personalities around Australia. Ladies and gentlemen, today my guest believes that beauty is in the eyes of the beholder. She says that every youngster, every young girl should never feel jealous because everybody has a beauty in themselves. So if you have the talent, keep persisting. My guest today is the supermodel and the model manager for Red Carpet Functions, Serena Dennis. Hello, Hi, Serena. Serena. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. You are so gorgeous. Oh, thank you. Thank you, you so much for this amazing dress. That thank is your sure. collection. And the one which you are wearing is your collection. Yes. Um, the fashion industry, you have been in there for so many years, right? Yes. So, first of all, what made you come to Australia? Actually, I um, migrated to Australia about 17 years ago. I was uh, married to my Australian husband. So before we thought I like, um, have to pick between stay in my home country, Thailand or here, but because we were talking and we thought like in Australia, maybe I can find a new opportunities in here. And yeah, we decided to move here. And yeah, I think I made the right decision. And wow, that's great. So you, I saw a photo with you and Michael Schumacher. Oh. That year, 1995. Wow. Yeah. So what was that about? So in that time, uh, in year 1995, Mikhail Schumacher, he came to Thailand. And I think in that time, he uh, just received like a champion for Formula One in that time. And in Thailand, they want to pick like a beauty pageant, just like a Miss Thailand, something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. And I think about... Um, almost 100 people, I mean, beauty patients came for competition and I won that title. You won the Formula One title? Miss Formula One Queen of oh Thailand. My God. Sarina, yeah. that is amazing. You are so beautiful. Not only from outside, but from inside too, because Thank I know you. you from 2015. You have been helping out the community uh, and you are the director of uh, Lions Club United Asia. And also you actually are helping the multicultural fashion show, segregating the models, finding the best and teaching them what, where they are lacking, right? So tell me about your passion. So about the fashion, passion, and fashion, fashion. fashion. Okay. Yes. Um, I, I love fashion. My passions, and I love something beautiful. I love to make people beautiful and confident. And I think, um, you know, in this world, you need to give and take. I my life is. I'm so blessed that I receive many opportunity from many people gave it to me, and I want to give that opportunity to all the young girls or even the boys, you know, if I can help, yeah, I love to support them, yeah, to build a confidence. That's right. Yes. Wow. And regarding about, about the fashions, I think fashion is always come and goes, but the style will be forever. Yeah, so many people struggling with the fashion, like how should they wear, but I think actually, fact you just need to know your body and wear something that suits you and your age group as well that's the most important age group yes mm -hmm. you know like some young girl want to look mature they might wear something a little bit older than their age some people they should wear something in their age group but they wear something too young it's something uh, funny this. <laughs> I think yeah. yeah so that's why you train the girls what they have to wear mm. how they have to walk what is best for them uh, I think confident confidence it's not just sorry for the catwalk models or modeling industry I think the most important is build their confidence for their career their future careers Mm -hmm. yeah. No one is born with confidence. You have to build the confidence, yes. right? Um, how do you get your confidence? I think that from my parents. Yeah, my parents always gave me the positive thing. Yeah, but we need to know that we have ability to do that or not. You know, for example, if I, many people think, oh, I want to be 
um, like a Rina. So not many people can do like Rina's job. Like I cannot do your job. You know many things. I think oh my gosh, you do so many things. But I know what I'm good with that. So when I know what I'm good with that, I will put all my effort to do that. So that will make you success. Wow, that is so true. Find your inner talent. Mm -hmm. Do not follow what others are doing, mm -hmm. right? Yeah, I need to find in your young age as well. You know, like it's normal if you like eighteen or twenty years old and you feel you're not successful yet. It's okay because even for me, you know, I'm forty something years old, almost fifty. I'm still suffering with many things. I I think like it's like achieve my goals yet or not but i keep do it keep positive yeah i know wow. i will reach my goals one day soon maybe this year <laughs> you never know so serena i whenever i was around you from the time i have met you you are so positive everybody around you feels rejuvenated when they meet you you are full of positivity so the passion that you are following that is fashion what motivates you to do that for the fashion um i love to see people beautiful i always believe in fashion you know like comes and goes but like i say the style is forever so i know everyone everyone beautiful but they just don't know what suit them well right. so i know that if i can um advise them you know what thing is good for them that will make me happy wow yeah and yeah. also build them confidence as well because if they dress up well if they know about uh how should they dress up to go to some special places like go for interview for the job go for party go for casual you know that um will help them to reach their goals for their career and their life as well so it's better to get dressed and be ready and face in whatever right comes place. in the right place and um, the food that you cook for all of us okay that you cook really good food thank you yes and yeah. we love to come to your place so your hospitality is amazing why what makes you do that oh actually i want to make people happy just if i invite uh the guests come to my house i want them to feel special like for example if i invite you to my house i know like some food you can find from many restaurant here but actually the food i pick from the guests as well you know i want to cook something that you didn't see in general yeah and i want something that make you feel wow that's why you come to my house Yeah. I eat all the special food which we cannot get in the restaurant. Mm -hmm, Your food is right. really tasty yeah. and the presentation mm -hmm. it's so really good. Um uh, Sarina you are the director in Lions Club United Asia, right? Yeah. So what does Lions Club do? Okay, Lions Club actually uh they for the charity. Yeah. I think the reason that I join Lions Club because I want to help not just only my Thai community people. I want to help Australian people as well and people all around the world because Lions Club it actually it uh, for people all around the world, not just only someone or some countries. Wow. It kind of like give and take. Um, for example, I have opportunity to come to Australia, get the good jobs, and I can stay in. Um, comfortable life i mean in my way you know yeah. i just yeah. want to give something to people as well wow yeah. so you have joined lions club and you're volunteering in so many places that is amazing so your collection serena dennis is your collection serena dennis and yogo takano so what does what is yogo takano my friend she is celebrity celebrity in thailand yes. and she's an actress and model as well yeah. we know each other for 30 years uh -huh. yeah because we first um joined the modeling together since that day we still friends and this actually is belong to like her collection mm -hmm. and we just have been talking oh we want to do something together that's why i said okay 
our import to Australia and see what we can do. Amazing. Because Amazing. If last year didn't have COVID, I know that our collection will be on your red carpet. From yes, yes, that's right. And your collection is not only the evening walk, evening gown. We can wear this to work. Yes. We just have to wear a coat. So your yes. collection is like multi-purpose collection. Yes. I love your collection. Thank so where you. can we find you? Do you have social media? Yeah, people can uh, reach me in my Selena Dennis that my um, normal Facebook page or I just create another page like Selena Shopping Square. <laughs> Shopping Square? Yeah. yeah Serena and, Shopping Square. Yeah, mm -hmm. because I will put everything there just like my fashion labels food, accessories, beauty thing. Yes, yeah. so yeah, the bracelet, bracelet. That you, it's a beautiful bracelet that you have given, gifted me. Serena, you are also selling the dry fruits. Dry fruit, And yes. Uh, uh, yeah, so tell me about that. Actually, like that one, because I know in my home country, Thailand, it's like agriculture country, and the fruit is very, very popular. I just want to help my people, you know, in my home country to get a job and export. Wow. You know, import, export, of helping people. That's amazing. Yeah, just started. Yeah. And we can actually taste that food over here, the dry Thank fruits. Yeah. So, ladies and gentlemen, if you want to find this amazing lady social media, it's Serena Dennis on Facebook, Instagram, and Serena Shopping Square. That's where you can buy her products. Serena, thank you for sharing with us your journey. Um, the one thing that you would like to share with our youngsters, what would that be? Okay, for the youngsters, I think the most important is they need to believe in themselves and also find themselves in the early stage of what they want to do or what they want to be. They don't need to copy many famous people because if they find themselves, you know, they know what exactly suits them, they can go ahead and do that. It will make them more successful. And the other thing is about social media. Now it's very uh, popular. Everyone uses that. Be aware, don't post something in the negative, even negative comments, because you never know what people read or looking at you. That is one of your resume. You know, like, you never know, maybe one of your future employer might see your social media and with one bad comments or negative status, that will be there forever. Absolutely correct. What an advice. So, boys and girls, do not post anything negative or rude on social media because it's like a resume for your future. <laughs> Fantastic advice, Serena. Thank Serena, you. it was a pleasure having you. Thank you so much for joining us. Thank you for having me here as well. Thank you. Thank you.